Hello and welcome back. Today we will create a shiny app for carrying out technical analysis of text talks. So this will be a simple app where you can enter the ticker symbol of a company and quickly get technical analysis. We'll make use of two libraries, shiny and quant mod. For creating the app, we need three things. One is the user interface. Second one is the server and finally the app. Let's store user interface in UI. Function that we are going to use is fluid page. So in this app, we should be able to enter ticker symbol and then get the plot. For that, we are going to use text input. Where a user can enter a ticker symbol on the screen user should get a message like enter symbol let's say the default symbol is for tesla tsla all uppercase so once we have that we put a comma and hit enter to add information about the output we will use a function called plot output and in the server, we are going to name our plot as simply plot. So with this, uh, we should be done with the user interface. Now let's go to server. We will name our server as server. And we always start with function that has input, output, and session. And then we start a curly bracket. Let's hit enter and add the output. With a dollar sign, we can specify plot. So remember we used plot as a name and that's why we are calling this plot. So this is where we are going to render our output using function called render plot. So let's start a curly bracket and hit enter and in capital E let's initialize a new environment. Hit enter and let's store within data the data for the particular stock. Quant mod library that we started with helps to get this kind of data using get symbols. And this we are going to link to the input, text input that we are going to get using this name symbol. So that we can do using input dollar sign symbol. We can also specify source by saying src equals yahoo. So we are going to get this data from Yahoo Finance and we initialized our environment as uppercase E. Now put a comma and hit enter to indicate from and to dates. So let's specify 2021 January 1st as starting date and two as maybe most recent data. So 2023 June and 12th and then hit enter and go to the next line. So one thing you'll notice is in the server, when we are using uh, this function, we are not ending this line with comma. We are not putting comma at the end of this line too. Whereas here, each line has to end with a comma. So in the next line, we plot the chart using chart series function. We can specify E, two square brackets, and the data from the previous line. So that will complete the server. Now finally, we come to app where we can say shiny app and UI that we are using is UI. Server that we are using is server. Now it can be run from here, but what we'll do is we are going to save this file in a folder on my desktop to keep things simple. So let's create a folder called my apps so this is on my desktop and now we can go do save as go to desktop and my apps and let's call this r file simply app.r so you can check under my apps you have this app.r file Let's open one more file, our script. We'll add our library for Shiny. 
and then I'm going to set working directory using set WD. So we go to tools, global options, browse and click on desktop. That's where my apps folder is. So we are not clicking on my apps. We are just clicking on desktop. And when you say open, so depending on how directories are set up on your computer, you'll get this link. Simply copy that and paste it within the quotation mark. So this will help us to point towards this specific directory desktop in which my apps folder is present. Let's run this and then we can use run app and within code we can specify name of the directory. In our case it is my apps. So when you run this that app is created. So default is Tesla but if you change to AAPL for Apple immediately you get plot for Apple. So this one goes uh, long back now let's go back and check the dates that we have. So we should have put uh, this in quotation mark. Let's save this and run this apps again. Now you can see it starts in January 2021 and ends in June 23. Now let's create a layout where we are entering the symbol on the left and the chart appears to the right of where we enter the data. So let's close this and go to user interface part of our codes. Enter. We'll also enter a title using title panel function. This has to end with comma. Hit enter and we are going to add sidebar layout and put both text input and plot output as a part of sidebar layout. So I'm going to remove this one parenthesis and put it here. When the cursor is here, so this parenthesis gets highlighted. Hit one more enter and this time we are going to say sidebar panel. So this text input is going to be part of sidebar panel. So I will remove this one parenthesis and put this here. And we'll put the plot in the main panel. So let's go at the beginning of plot output and say main panel and remove this parenthesis and put at the end of the plot information. You can see that this cursor relates to this one. So this whole thing is part of sidebar layout and the last uh, parenthesis connects with the first one. So we don't have any error. So the format is okay. Let's save this and go back to our run apps. Hit run. So now you can see this title appears at the top and we can enter the symbol here and the plot appears not below but towards the right. When you are entering the symbol it has to be uppercase. If you try lowercase for example if I say SPY you get an error. So if we say SPY uppercase immediately you get the plot. Now let's add technical analysis. So we go back to app.r and this time we will modify server to get technical analysis. Now I'm going to add one more library just for the theme part of it. It's called BSLIB. And just before the title panel, I'm going to add one more line. Theme equals. You can explore others, but I'll go with version 5. and boot swatch I'm going to use dark. So this line has to end with a comma. If you save this uh, just to quickly check how it looks. So this is how it looks. Now let's add technical analysis in server part. So within chart series I'm going to specify theme as white so that we have a cleaner plot and then the name will be stock and for adding technical analysis, we use TA. So for adding volume, we O, open close parenthesis, and then semicolon, and then add. If you want to add Bollinger Bands, same thing, and then semicolon. Another popular technical indicator is CCI. 
and then I'll go to the next line and add few more so exponential moving average so I'll add few starting with 50 and because we'll be adding more than one let's have different colors so I need to close this parenthesis similarly add EMA we'll do 20 and 5 so for 5 we can use red and then we can put a comma and add one more thing if you want to do subset of the data we can say subset equals let's say we want for last 90 days so there has to be this parenthesis now here another thing we need is open and close parenthesis here another thing is the name that we want at the top of the chart that name is stored in data let's say name equals data we can save this go back and run my apps so we get this chart with Tesla at the top and then a Bollinger Band you can also see the three lines that we wanted for somebody who doesn't want to use the R quotes just want to make use of the charts this app becomes quite easy you can simply enter ticker symbol of a company for example Amazon or AAPL for Apple and we can immediately get the chart now for someone who also wants to look at R code so for that we can add after a comma display dot mode and within quotes showcase now if we run this we get a place to enter ticker symbol we get the plot with all the technical analysis in which we are interested and also R code you can also like go below the chart and expand your chart to make it bigger so we know that uh, these three lines red blue and black so these are 50 20 and then 5 exponential moving averages so the line that you see closest to the candlestick the red one is for 5 and the blue one in between is 20 and the black one is 50 and typically when 20 crosses from below and goes above 50 exponential moving average like somewhere here so that is a very bullish signal and you can see that after that the stock has rallied a lot for getting this signal earlier some people may also look at maybe 5 crossing both 20 and 50 lines and going above and after that you can see the candlesticks are falling along this red line on the other hand when things happen in the opposite direction so for example somewhere here you can see the red line crosses and goes below blue and black lines so that's a bearish kind of signal and you can see the stock has fallen and has stayed at this bottom for a very long time so this is Amazon and you can see it spends a lot of time near the upper band of the Bollinger Band so any drop towards the middle is a good place to actually enter and when the stock goes much beyond the upper band so that could be a place where maybe somebody can take some profits and wait for it to come back a little bit down so this was a quick overview of how you can create a shiny app for doing technical analysis of stocks in which you may be interested thanks for watching see you soon